Hello, today I want to show you this solenoid engine or solenoid motor. It has a few parts, let's see. Of course we have a solenoid. When the solenoid is energized, it produces a magnetic field. Here we have a magnet with a polarity such that when the solenoid is energized, it pushes the magnet to the left. So it will move in this way. And when it moves, it also makes the flywheel rotate. The flywheel has magnets in this section. And here we have a switch that also has a magnet. When the flywheel moves and the magnets are at this point, they will push the magnet on the switch and it will make contact. The switch closes and then the solenoid is energized and the flywheel will move in this direction. The solenoid will be energized as long as the switch is closed and it will be closed when all the magnets are passing near the switch. When all the magnets passes, the switch opens and the solenoid is no longer energized. When all the magnets have passed near the switch and it opens, the solenoid no longer is energized, but the flywheel continues to rotate because of its inertia until the magnets again come close to the switch and it closes again. The solenoid exerts a force again on the flywheel and it rotates and this cycle repeats at every turn of the flywheel. Here we can see the connections, they are simple. Here we have the two solenoid terminals. In this terminal we connect the positive of the power supply. The other terminal of the solenoid goes to the switch and here we connect the negative of the power supply. We use DC current for this solenoid. Ok, let's connect it to the power supply to see it working. Thank you.